Hi, it's Wednesday, March 7th, 2012, and my name is Nikki Seward. I'm a Delta land owner, and I am doing this very brief presentation to look at uh, the impacts of the Bay Delta Conservation Plan on um, water flow into the Bay and Delta, and the impact to our aquifers in Napa and Sonoma and um, over in the Bay Area. Uh, this is going to be really drastic, and the projects are being built now. So I'm going to start with, this is a sfestuary.org map. I am live online, and you can see um, I, I grabbed this map so that I could uh, quickly open it, um, put it over at deltarevision.com. There's a uh, section on aquifers, and this was a really good and clear map. We see we have the Central Valley and the Sacramento River and the San Joaquin River both historically drained into the Delta, which was entirely a freshwater um, area, and then it would go into the what is the uh, is called the Sassoon Marsh area and then into the bay. Well, there is this uh, program called the Bay Delta Conservation Plan, I should say, a process, and it's really a conveyance plan, and their plan is to divert the majority of the Sacramento River water to other places uh, south of the Delta, basically, and um, exchange uh, some of the San Joaquin River water to uh, replenish um, the water that's supposed to flow into uh, the San Francisco Bay. Well, it doesn't work that way. They're um, saying they're going to take the good Sacramento, very fresh water, and replace it with much less quality San Joaquin River water. So let's talk about that. But in the meantime, if you want to see what this is about, the, the draft of the EIR, EIS, and the plan are um, being released now and you can go through and look at these documents. Um, it will become official later this year in 2012. So well, this is just one map and you can read from this chapter 7 the effects. Um, what is the effect? Um, this shows just one of the um, canals. This is the west side and this is the Sacramento River water even though it's not really defined in the map. What happens is it says groundwater level rise due to project. Well it's not a rise, it's reduction. The groundwater goes from minus one go down to minus ten actually or more in the delta area. So if the delta groundwater or delta aquifer is reduced that much the bay does too. The The map doesn't show it, but it's going to affect an uh, area much larger than, than just this section of the delta. When you reduce that much water that is the natural water flow because the water is being diverted down here going down south, you're in impacting a whole lot bigger area than what this uh, the Bay Delta Conservation Plan admits to. Um, so let's let's go on. Okay, so this is a SF Estuary project and their goals. This is a pretty good summary um, document that um, in 2002. And um, what I did was I I took what is supposed to be the summary of what's planned, and I looked at what what is the Bay Delta Conservation Plan doing. Well, in comparison. SF Estuary Project said to move X2 out more towards um, the bay, whereas the Delta Bay Delta Conservation Plan moves X2, which is the salinity contact, into the delta. So it is doing the opposite of what the SS e SF Estuary Project said to do. Um, another thing is um, Sacramento River flows, uh, higher river stage velocity is what was called for. and if you look at the Bay Delta Conservation Plan documents, it's going to reduce the velocity most of the times of the year. Um, the issue of uh, flood plain in inundation, it does call for greater inundation, so that is just the one part that it, it um, agrees upon. Um, but this whole increasing or decreasing salinity, it increases salinity for the Delta and the Bay. 
Um, lower proportion of flows diverted? Nope. It increases the proportion of flows diver diverted. So you, you need to pay attention to this whole plan. Here is uh, from the Delta Vision Group, um, which is the same thing basically as the Bay Delta Conservation Plan people. And you can see it proposes basically taking um, Sacramento River water and actually Sacramento River um, even north of the river like the Folsom South Canal it diverts it you have to go and look at that project it actually diverts the water into the uh, Macomb American River system to send it down south so it never really even gets to the the uh, North Delta region at all and then into the bay it, it just bypasses everything so we're talking about a huge increase in water diversions not a decrease there this is what they're talking about um, you know the the increase in percentages um, and they think that'll make up for it by uh, giving the uh, worst quality uh, San Joaquin River water it it won't so I'm gonna keep going Bay Delta Conservation Plan proposes this diversion of water 15,000 cubic feet per second um, depending on how much water is flowing during the winter months but they will keep those pumps on even during the summer months because that's how they're designed. So the cubic feet per second is an average. It could divert more than that too. So how much water does the Sacramento River have? Uh, before 2003, very uniformly, um, all water documents basically said that there was uh, 17 million acre feet. That's 17,220,000 ,000 acre feet. That's 17 million acre feet rounded off. Um, 17 million acre feet, well, that uh, translate if you do the conversion stuff, um, it, that would be, um, you have to look at cubic feet per second because that's how they talk about um, the average water years and how much they propose to export from the Delta. 15,000 cubic feet per second comes out to about 11 million acre feet. So that's leaving um, 6 million acre feet in of Sacramento River water to flow um, into the bay. And that is substantially less than what has flowed in the bay. So let's, let's go on. You need to, if you want to look more at this chart, this is a rather large chart. Let's see if I can... Yeah, it's a large chart talking about the comparison of, of the flows, what they're saying now, and what the past is. I'm going to go over here. This, this is a, a page on DeltaRevision.com, which was developed by Delta people to um, spread the information about what's really being done. And there we saw that aquifer page. And um, what is the problem with using Sacramento River water to supposedly freshen up the bay instead. Well, the problem is there is a lot of selenium, salt, um, and other um, toxins, and they are toxins when they're too high a levels. And the proposal is recirculate all the selenium from the west side of this, of the lower San Joaquin River and down by Kern and all that stuff, and and dump it into the bay yeah that issue from the 80s has come back and they're looking at recirculating the selenium into the delta and bay and they think that um, dilution is the solution to the pollution well we know that's just not true and so th this really has to uh, be paid attention to by um, delta and bay people um, they say, well, we'll monitor the the water quality, but the the fact is, if if the this high salinity actually gets dumped out here, they're not monitoring that quality. Here's another map um, you could look at. It shows that there's an increase in salinity um, for the um, bay when um, the the proposal comes about that they're the different changes they're talking about in the Delta. Now notice that um, this this is how the Delta is existing and this is the increase and it 
it um, that has to do with the dredging, but it also has to do with the cumulative effects of the Bay Delta Conservation Plan. Um, you can look at other maps that um, I kind of gathered here on this particular page. Um, we're looking at the wa freshwater flows um, according to that estuary. Uh, I think it's a state of the bay. Yeah, state of the bay, um, state of the estuary report. And look at this decline. Well, where's this water going? This is a freshwater flow decline. And um, w we in the Delta have gone to a lot of meetings and Metropolitan Water District, at the same time that there's this huge decline, the Metropolitan Water District uh, of Southern California has been saving water. They've got five million acre feet of water. They get a million and a half normally and they use that plus they've saved up five million acre feet of water um, in in new um, surface storage and aquifer storage um, they call it well injections and so that's where that water is going and what's happening to the bay well in the bay we're seeing this huge decline again um, this is from the Southern California Water Dialogue and they recognize oh my goodness you know as the water's being exported looks what's happening with the fish populations in the Central Valley Chinook they go up the Sacramento River and um, there's this huge decline now there's you can find other maps but the fact is we really have to pay attention I'm gonna look at two other toxins besides the selenium we have to watch out for mercury um, in the fish is on the increase and has the yellow bypass gets more in an inundation we will see more an increase in the mercury um, in the fish um, as our aquifers uh, reduce their levels reduce we will see an increase in the bay in arsenic that's becoming more and more a concern and and we find out that the some of the testing is showing that um, even in Sonoma and Napa there's an increase certainly in the Delta there's an increase but as you lower the water table we can expect more of that here's another look at uh, mercury they're doing mercury testing in the Delta because they're finding all these um, the runoff from the mines up in here and um, there is a lot of mercury mines over in this area it runs into the Sacramento River going through the Delta coming into the Bay now I know that uh, if more Sacramento River water is diverted the San Joaquin or lower um, San Joaquin River um, water user are gonna have to deal with that issue too so I hope you'll pay attention and and please don't think that this is something that might come up down the road you need to look at the construction projects that are helping happening now let me see if I can go find that construction projects happening now in the Delta this isn't something going on down the road these construction projects this is uh, the Bay Delta uh, conservation plan um, also includes a central canal of the CalFed record of decision from 2002 and this is construction going on that builds that second central canal you can see that these levees have already been improved so the central canal which already by itself could go ahead and and take um, most of the Sacramento River water when you count the Folsom South, South Canal diversion um, that uh, the central canal in itself can impact so greatly here's uh, another one of the projects this one is there's an intake up at Verona that's north of Sacramento and these are uh, another intake there's fish screens and it's going to be taking diverting water north of the uh, Sacramento um, there'll be water that will also this is in addition to the Bay Delta Conservation Plan so here's the Folsom South Canal and this is East Bay mud thing um, but the water appears to not necessarily go to East Bay mud that would be something you have to ask East Bay mud but this is um, this it takes uh, I don't know how many uh, hundred uh, cubic feet per second something I think or no hundred a million gallons a day that's supposed to divert on that one um, 
as you probably already know, there's the alternative intake project for Contra Costa Water District. Uh, why are they changing their in intakes? Because they know that it's going to be impacted. There is the project down on, is this Empire Tract? Let's see, here's the Empire Tract one. They call it the Stockton Delta Water Supply Project uh, on Empire uh, Track, but it actually is a conjunctive use one um, that takes more Sacramento River water uh, away from the bay. And so I hope that you will pay attention to what is going on and you can find more on the uh, aquifer impacts. There's actually several pages on aquifer impacts on this particular website and um, it combines a couple different um, the data come from a couple different areas but please please pay attention to what they are saying with the um, what's going on with the Bay Delta Conservation Plan. It will definitely destroy uh, Northern California aquifers over time because as this particular one shows, our recharge is going to be less and less if there's global warming and the the Sacramento River will be recharging Southern California uh, surface waters and we will be left with just uh, the dredges, basically. Thanks for listening.